Rudolph's If I were to describe us as filmmakers, all I'd have to say is we love what we do. Grow Bro Productions, our business, which we just incorporated, so it's an LLC now, um, probably started for real about four months ago. We like video games, so we thought we'd do a short series on Skyrim, and after we filmed the first one, we almost didn't put it out because we didn't personally like how we it turned out. We didn't think it would be well received because it's, you have to really understand the game developer's mechanics, Bethesda, to get the jokes in it, like why we're crouching and doing that, or why that person's walking like a goon. Greg and Thor's staff, you think it does anything? No idea, try it out. It's been out for maybe a month, and it's at 2.1 million, and it hit 1 million views in like three or four days, which was incredible and super encouraging. So after that, our subscribers went from 66 to almost 30,000. This shop's been here for over 2,000 years. Well, when I found out how popular Skyrim 2012 had gotten, I was a little surprised, especially at the speed that it kind of took hold. I mean, we, we knew it was gonna be funny. We knew it was gonna be like, that a lot of people who played the game would really appreciate it. But when it came to the magnitude of the response, I was, I was personally blown away. It was, like a, it was like a Christmas morning, but instead of YouTube 10 or 12 presents, presents, they delivered like 30,000 gifts under the Christmas tree. Me and John and Justin work on the phone the entire day, just like, did you see? You see these guys posted an article? Yeah, I saw that. That's really cool. Like, it was it was incredible. I, I was very very pleased. We would love to branch out and do other types of videos besides the video game genre. That was really just a Kickstarter to greater and larger things. The video that we're working on right now is a western, it's a period piece, and it's for a film festival called Your Film Festival. Not 70 years. The, the film festival's focus is finding storytellers, not whoever has the best graphics on their video, or who can put the coolest you know, digital effect in there, it's who can tell the best story in 15 minutes that keeps you interested. It's really more of an adventure for us to be able to try to capture an old west tone and feel in a winter Midwest setting with no Western towns or anything. So the most important thing to us is nailing the wardrobe and the dialogue and how people sounded back then. Because if all those three are really well done and blend, then you can just focus right on the story and not worry about anything else. If I had to describe the Grosjean brothers and how they work, I guess I would say um, that they are some of the most creative and original people that I've had the privilege to work with. And um, they're also very, very good friends. It's like working with someone you don't have to worry about. I don't worry about a single gosh darn thing when I'm working with John because I know exactly what he's thinking and what he's doing. It's a lot more fun realizing the fact that they are two parts of a, a very much better and greater whole. <laughs> we're usually never like angry at the same time. If I were to describe my brother, he's, he's pretty balancing. Balancing. Yeah. <laughs> Our, future, Our plans. future plans are to make the sweetest flicks possible together on the grandest scale possible that we can get. I want to make a killer movie and see it in a theater one day and know that people are enjoying it. The biggest thing is that people are enjoying I it. I want to make something. To sit down with me and Justin and go, hey, everyone's loving that. We made it. <laughs>